So hi everyone, today I'm going to be taking you to the Museum of Broken Hearts. Yeah, strange but true. Well, have you ever bought a loved one a present that, you know, they thought you thought they'd appreciate and then had it thrown back in your face in disgust, probably even ended the relationship? Maybe. Uh, leave your comments below, it'd be very interesting to hear what people got to say on this. Uh, well, this museum is full of them kind of things and, um, yeah, I bought my, my first wife a, a foot spa for Christmas one year. Uh, it didn't go down too well, I won't go into too much detail, fortunately it didn't end the relationship, but yeah, it was not, um, it was it was in bad taste. <laughs> I, I hold my hands up and put the white flag in. So yeah, the, um, the Museum of Broken Hearts, this could be interesting, I'm looking forward to this one. So I better put a mask on. Right. Hello. How much is it for the? Uh, forty kuna. Four zero. Four zero kuna. So here we are. The museum of broken relationships. So the Museum of Broken Relationships grew from a travelling exhibition revolving around the concept of failed relationships and their ruins. Unlike destructive self-help instructions for recovery from grief and loss, the museum offers the chance to overcome an emotional collapse through creation by contributing to the museum's collection whatever the motivation for donating personal belongings, be it sheer exhibitionism, therapeutic relief or simple curiosity. People embrace this idea of exhibiting their emotional legacy as a short, sort of ritual on a sol solemn ceremony our societies acknowledge. Marriages, funerals and even graduation farewells but deny us any formal recognition of the demise of a relationship despite its strong <laughs> and emotional effects. Well, the rest is there for you to read and I'm not going to carry on reading anymore because I'm getting tired eyes. But if you want to carry on reading that, up to you. So this has cost me 40 kuna, which is about um, about a fiver. It's pretty fair. 27 year old scab from my first lover's wound. Nice. That's uh, that's, that's really nice. Yeah. <laughs> and here we have homemade vibrating dildo. I uh, can't really read the rest, I'll let you do that. <laughs> yeah, whatever, um, whatever suits its needs. Little pleasures. Some pencils, set of acupuncture pens. The extremes people go to. 
packet of gastritis tablets. Controlic. Again, I'll let you read all that. Dreads, October 2001. Some dreadlocks obviously cut off someone who upset someone else. I guess more than a handful is too much. Plastic crocodile adorned with beaded necklace. Plastic Godzilla. So yeah, I guess these are all remnants of people's heartbreaks and breakups. A brief but intense affair was promised to the world and towards that end was given this compass for Christmas to help keep to our shared path. Jumped in the everything only to be left suddenly and unceremoniously one Saturday morning with the words, I can't do this, have not heard a peep out of him since. The gift was a romantic gesture whose meaning changes dramatically and ironically in hindsight. Yeah, lovely. An hourglass. I'm not going to read all these because, to be honest with you, it's going to, I'm going to be here all day and I have better things to do than uh, worry about people's heartbreaks. But you're quite welcome to read them all. Um, I'll be something to do with a stick. Someone took a beating, I think little statuette. Again, the reading is on the wall. Up to you to read it all if you want to. Um, I haven't got time. Small stones, one white and one oblong, capable of standing erect, one round and red paper. Yeah. Vintage toy soldier. African hut made of stone. action man here, obviously someone's toy and gift that went wrong, ah oh, little souvenir again I guess something that got thrown back in someone's face, shame but true. Reel to reel tape recorder and audio tape, well you know if you take the wrong thing then you have to expect the consequences. Be interesting to see what's on there. Carpenter's tool. Mm. Well, I guess, you know, you can make a museum out of anything and uh, something like this has so much information you can get from people about situations and things that happened. And the shoe.
A wedding dress that probably never made it to the aisle. letter from 1969 dear John and they never saw each other again again I'll leave you to read this as I don't really want to read all of that microwave popcorn. Interesting to see what that's all about. That's what you really want to give to your loved one, isn't it? As a hint. Number one bestseller by Paul McKenna. I can make you thin. Yeah, so that's the ideal present you give to your girlfriend, isn't it? See why that relationship went down the pan. Three dimensional paper collage, collected chocolate papers. How oh, that's got any relationship, any relationship to a relationship, I don't really know, but never mind. An espresso machine. Oh, quite a common machine in uh, the beginning of many relationships, I guess. And uh, yes, if you're lucky to take it to the next step, I guess a toaster for breakfast also comes in handy. Broad bean heater. Well, you know, some strange things here that I can't really understand where they come from, but maybe that's where I went wrong in life. shoes that were bought for a special occasion and uh, took a different road they didn't hit the, didn't hit the hammer on the head hit, didn't hit the nail on the head with that one she should have gone to uh, Specsavers Kladach rings I guess that's the same as friendship rings uh, again I'll let you read that Animated uh, DVD, uh, again, yeah, I guess that's one way of telling someone it's over. Dumped, nice. Two dollies with Ludiac signs, 
Oh, that's quite cute, isn't it? I wonder if that relationship's still going. Rubber gloves. Um, I'm not going to read this, but I think the less said about that, the better. And a wedding dress that I guess never got used. Still. Interesting. Well, that's pretty much it for Museum of Broken Hearts. Ah, uh, yeah, I'll give my review when I get outside. Voila. Voila, bye. Thank you. So, getting back from the Museum of Broken Hearts. Yeah, a bit strange. It is what it is, you know, um, but it's, it works. You know, there's a lot of people go there. It's been quite busy today. It's been quite busy there. People coming in and out, so fair play to them. Uh, this is Eastern Europe, and uh, I wouldn't expect any less in Eastern Europe. Their sense of humor just about borders on that. So, uh, yeah, interesting one. The Museum of Broken Hearts. Thanks very much for watching. I'm Kevin Harrington. This is Chef's Travels. Hopefully, see you on the next one. Cheers.